fire at Notre Dame now. Firefighters and experts keeping the weekend cathedral under a watchful eye. Always a show of solidarity is playing out all across the country. Church bells rang across France today in honor of Notre Dame. As for the investigation, police have now questioned 30 people, including workers involved in the church's restoration, and also security guards who saw the first flames. We want to get to News Force Paisy Chang, who's been in Paris there, now talking about how the city's recovering. Paisy. Natalie, I would say that feelings of shock and grief have now been replaced by hope. Hope that they will be able to repair this cathedral. It's bolstered by the donations that have now reached a billion euros to restore this historic building. It was a touching tribute at cathedrals all across France. At 6.50 p.m. local time, they rang their bells in honor of Notre Dame. We are now learning that before the fire broke out, there was a fire alarm around 6.20 p.m., but they couldn't find it. When the second alarm went off, it was too late. Yeah, the entire roof up in flames. The world responded and raised a billion euros to restore the famous and beloved cathedral. The roof and especially the spire was the first part of the renovation project. Michelle Picot was leading a fundraising drive to renovate the 800-year-old cathedral. At the time, they needed 150 million euros to do critical improvements that may have prevented this fire. The French president wants to rebuild in five years' time. Do you think it can be done in five years? I think it will be tough. From above, the damage looks devastating. Most of the roof is gone. And today, fire officials said the iconic towers would have been gone too had firefighters not acted when they did. It's not just if you're Catholic or not. Everybody loves this building. It's, it's an icon. It's over 800 years old. Everybody knows it. <laughs> And you're looking at those towers right now that were spared because of the quick actions of the firefighters who were fighting this blaze. According to the restoration experts, though, the first thing that needs to happen is they need to close up those gaping holes in the roof on the, ce on the ceiling of the church before they can begin any more restoration projects. We are live from Paris tonight. Paisy Cheng, News 4, New York. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can stay up to date by hitting the subscribe button below me. Also on the left, you can see some of our latest updates, investigations, and features. We'll see you next time.